Seven legendary game features created by Fluke! Throughout video game history, developers have followed varying paths and processes to produce the end game. Some game ideas simply arose to fit around graphical demos, while some original ideas changed significantly through their development due to machine limitations or coding quirks. Whatever the process, you can be sure the end versions of games are always different from their original conceptions, whether through creative progression or complete fluke. In this video, I'll be running down seven now legendary game features which were created completely by accident during the development process. Number 7, Lara Croft's Breasts. Who can forget those sharp angled rack-like features of the original Lara Croft? They were enough to inhibit the progress of any would-be Tomb Raider needing to run at high speed through the deep jungle, but they quickly became an iconic lure of both teenage boys and grown men during the game's original release. As it happens though, those angular mammaries cropped up due to some heavy-handed mouse action under the grip of artist Toby Gard. Whilst playing around with the character dimensions, Toby apparently slipped and shot the sizing slider up to a gigantic 150%. This immediately caught the eyes of the male design team who insisted he kept the disproportionate dimensions. As the team said at the time, Guard's accidental 150 design made picking out a marketing strategy remarkably easy. Still, at least we had a female protagonist for once. Number 6, the Silent Hill Fog World. The atmospheric mist that you find inhabiting the original Silent Hill is a dimension that lies alongside the real world and the hellish other world. It even carries through to the later versions of the game and the film, with the implication that the Fog World was created by Elisa Gillespie and Dark Elisa to entrap the cultists. But the real creators of the Fog were the game developers themselves, who simply used the misty undefined smog to hide the draw distance limitations on the original PlayStation. That's right, rather than allowing the player to see the landscape being drawn in front of them as they moved, the mist was added so that the system only needed to render objects in the immediate vicinity of the player. Genius. Number 5, Metal Gear Stealth Element. Metal Gear was originally intended to be an all-out military combat action game, and indeed in many parts it is, but not exactly how it was intended. Originally released for the 8-bit MSX2 hardware specification, the technical limitations prevented the designer, Hideo Kojima, from displaying enough on-screen bullets and enemy sprites for full on-combat action. To account for this, and inspired by the Great Escape, the gameplay was shifted from mowing down endless enemies to simply avoiding capture through stealth and cunning, with the game originally being titled Intruder to reflect this. Back then, this wasn't widely acknowledged as a significant point, but it helped future Metal Gear Solid games to stand out amongst other titles. Number 4, Mario's Tash. Ah, Mario, the image of gaming. One, if not the most recognisable video game character in history, with his iconic dungarees, hat and porn star style Tash. It's hard to think of Mario looking any different. Yet the Tash and the hat were really just fudges rather than preconceived design choices. Instead of taking the unnecessary time and processing power to animate Mario's hair or facial expressions, a hat was donked on him and a hefty tash slapped onto his face to make the whole thing easier. So there we have it, laziness can sometimes pay off in a big way. Number 3, the accidental combo system. Fighting games wouldn't be what they are today without the combo system and it all originated from this game. Street Fighter 2, the undisputed king of the fighting genre. During game development, whilst testing out the car bonus stage, producer Noritaka from Amazu noticed a coding glitch that allowed two punches to be executed in the same move. The glitch required perfect timing to execute on each occasion, and so due to its difficulty was left in the game. But underestimating the game's appeal and tenacity of its players, these combo attacks were quickly discovered and used to full effect by tournament players and aficionados of the game. 
The bug quickly became an official feature and throughout its iterations was improved, enabling complex multi-hit systems which are now a quintessential part of the genre. Number 2. Faster Space Invaders Space Invaders is one of the most iconic games of all time. Developed by Tomohiro Nishikado in 1978, the aliens which slowly move across the screen becoming gradually faster provided the perfect difficulty curve for the revolutionary concept. However, the game isn't exactly how Nishikado had originally conceived it. Bearing in mind this was the early days of electronics, the control program board was simply not powerful enough to move the enemy sprites fast enough across the screen. However, he noticed that the processor was able to render the aliens faster, the fewer there were on screen. Rather than altering the code to compensate for this speed difference, he simply decided to leave this quirk in as a challenging gameplay mechanic, which also made it one of the first games to offer difficulty progression, and the key reason that people found it so utterly addictive. So, number one. Batshit Crazy Grand Theft Auto Police. Having recently covered the story of DMA Design, which is available in the video you can see on screen now, it felt right to mention a game by the legendary Scottish team. Grand Theft Auto, or as it was known then, Race and Chase, was a multiplayer racing game with no real criminal objectives. However, due to a coding glitch, the police cars went ape shit. Rather than pulling you over for minor driving offences, they would smash you clean off a road and cause absolute havoc. Similar to scenes from police camera action in the mid 90s. And he has to swerve to miss a parked car. The developers realised that this was way more fun than sticking to the original racing missions and soon brought a more open world dimension to the game, upping the havoc stakes as they went rather than removing the glitching code. And this single quirk led to one of the most iconic video game brands of today. So, there we have it. Thank you for watching this top 7 list of fluke game features. If you'd like more, feel free to click a video below or subscribe for future releases. If you haven't already and you like this sort of thing, then check out Larry Bundy Jr. He puts more zeal into this category than me. You can also contribute to my Patreon to keep this channel going, share the video or just skedaddle. In any case, thank you very much for watching and good night.